and welcome to another NCCS SolarWorks tutorial. My name is Emmanuel and today we'll be going over the loft feature. What the loft feature basically does is it takes two profiles, in this case a square and a circle, and extrudes a body between the two but molds them together. So you can see here it starts off from a circle then slowly becomes a square over the set distance apart. When using the loft feature, something that you need to note is that the order in which you select your profiles is very important. For example, if I wanted to create a shape with just the square and the oval, just using the loft feature I wouldn't be able to. Because as you see when I select the square and the oval, SolWorks is trying to create an extrude between the two, but because all I've given them is two shapes on the same sketch and the same plane, it can't do it. It has no path between the two. So what we do instead is we go from the square to the circle and then to the oval. And what you can see here is this red right square to circle to oval. If I were to change that order it just it fails. It can't do it. Another small thing to bear in mind when using the loft feature is the little yellow button that appears when creating an extrude between two different sketches. Notice here how this little yellow button here connects to this corner. Well, if I were to move this down, it would create a little twist, similar to if you had this as a clay model and then you twisted the top circle. That's sort of what's happening here. So as you can see here, the line here is connected to here and here, but this face is twisting. If you do this by accident when using the loft feature and you just want it to go back to normal, just go back to the feature, press here and escape, and bang, back to normal. 